we welcome you all again to Japlan language services in this video we will be knowing how to type in Japanese language through Windows or Macbook through your computer through your personal computer we know how to we will be knowing how to type in Japanese characters please stay with us till the end of this video all right so we go to next and we say uh, now how, how uh, do Japanese people type in Japanese characters so basically they have uh, you no know, Japanese keyboard with them so on each uh, key uh, they have some Japanese uh, characters typed in or engraved in right so Japanese keyboard has an alphabet letter and a hiragana letter on the key top but don't worry it's okay I mean if you don't have the Japanese keyboard don't worry we will be uh, knowing how to do it from ourselves right so you can see here so Japanese keyboard is not necessary to type in Japanese for other people who are not there in Japan who or who does not have the Japanese keyboard with them so you can input Japanese characters with non-Japanese software such as English email software or English office software so uh, what we would request everyone to you know, install a typing Japanese software called IE IME that's input method editor so installing IME for Windows we will be learning also for MSC Mac right now so typing Japanese software MSC MS IME is provided for Windows by Microsoft it is already in our computer system as a standard accessory for Mac like uh, we have uh, typing Japanese software called uh, Kotoeri it's provided on the Mac OS operating system so installing and setting input method editor you know we'll be knowing uh, in this video how to install ms ime microsoft ime or you can say uh, how to start japanese typing mode and then how to finish japanese typing mode so three things we'll be knowing, knowing in this so installing and setting you can say first uh, now please click if the ime is already installed on your uh, windows you have to click uh, on the right hand uh, top uh, bottom side so if you see em in case of windows uh, English version on the taskbar like on the right it is the language bar so MS IME is already installed so you don't need to go through the step one what we are going to do so if it is you cannot see E and written on the uh, uh, right bottom so in that case now you have to follow the step one so so we will be knowing how to install IME on Windows 10 Windows 8 Windows 7 Windows Vista and Windows XP and also MSC like that so we start with uh, basically I um, oh no, okay before we move to Windows 10 we are, let's know uh, how we can find out of, uh, which version of Windows we I am using or you are using right so while on the uh, what you can do uh, just to know uh, while you on the start screen uh, Windows button uh, you no know, type computer right now and right click the computer icon if you, you know if you're using touch press and hold on computer icon click or tap properties so under windows edition the windows version is shown or you can go to the uh, no select the start button setting then again system then about and under device specification system type see if you are running a 32 bit or 64 bit version of windows under windows specification check which edition and uh, version of windows your device is running so let's start with the Windows 10. If you don't have the IME installed already, so uh, how to install it? You can see here Windows 10. And now you just have to open the setting first, like now Windows 10 installing. Uh, so open the setting. If you click here on the uh, setting bar, it will be there. Or if you have press the Windows button, you will go to the setting and then you have to press that open setting then open language right so there's i can call right so there's i can call time and language you can see you know kanji character is also you know speech region and date will be mentioned there we go to uh, select regional language and uh, click add a language right so you know, just we had uh, we can see uh, you now we selected the uh, uh, regional language and then we went to add a language here on the right hand side so select Japanese from there, right? Now you can find the uh, Japanese. Right? Now I have just highlighted all these things. So select Japanese, and then Japanese is added. This means MSIM is installed. So it was so simple, right? So language and you now pack available. You can see here Nihongo. It's Japanese. And confirm the language bar. Like so, the language bar will appear on the task bar at the right lower side. That's it. Where you can see your time and uh, date. You can see there the side of the display at the at this point uh, it is still in english mode now 
Now click English, select Japanese Microsoft AME, right? Now if you click English, you will be given two uh, options. One would be in uh, English United States US keyboard or another will be Japanese Microsoft IME. So now you have to uh, now select the Japanese Microsoft IME. Now Japanese typing mode, how we write like now it's a mode A. And at this point, it is Japanese typing mode A. We have selected Japanese, right? So it will be Japanese typing mode. This mode is to type English alphabet under the Japanese typing mode. So you can type in Romaji and you can get the characters in Hiragana, Katakana, Kanji, anything. So we'll know later on. So we, we have to click A and then this uh, the mode A will be on the mode A. This is a Hiragana A. This mode is for typing Kana and Kanji. That's a Hiragana, Katakana and Kanji words. Right? So you can see here, you know, it has converted to Hiragana A. Now you can type in Japanese with a non-Japanese keyboard such as English keyboard. Go, go to the next step, how to start typing in Japanese. So I have also mentioned, uh, we'll be knowing this here. Note, uh, you can switch between English mode and Japanese. So it's not that like now if you have selected the uh, uh, Japanese uh, input mode, you cannot uh, you now switch to English. If you are to type in uh, some mail or you have to you know, write something in English, you can always switch. So how, you to, how to switch that? So you can see here, uh, we, we can switch between English mode and Japanese mode. So you can also switch the mode by a shortcut Alt plus Shift. So Alt Shift, no, it will give you a English. Now if you are writing in English and if you want to uh, shift to uh, Japanese mode, then you just again have to pick, no, uh, no, uh, shift to, uh, no, uh, press Alt and Shift. So here you, you can see here, right? No, Alt and Shift you press, and you can convert directly to the uh, Japanese mode. Uh, if you are here and then if you press Alt and Shift, directly you will go back to the English mode like that. Hope this is uh, uh, easy to understand. Once you install, you will get to know about this. And then how to start typing Japanese mode. Now start uh, your pro you know, word processing software or email software, anything like you now where you want to type. And here, uh, I mean, we are just taking an example of uh, WordPad as an example or like you know, WordPad is available as the standard application in the Windows accessories, right? So, we have just taken the example with there. You can do it uh, with anything, notepad you can type or email you can type or anything wherever you want to type, uh, you can type. The only thing is uh, on the right hand side, the uh, bottom, you can, you have to select the uh, Japanese input method, right? So, or in, uh, IME input method editor. So, click English of the language bar, select Japanese, like you, know, you can see here, uh, if you press English, you can see two options Japanese Microsoft IME and you have to you know select that now you can see here the language mode English will be in Japanese mode A uh, this mode is to type English alphabet under the Japanese typing mode now if you want to uh, you know click A if you want to press you click A this mode will be uh, on Japanese mode R this is hiragana input mode by using Romaji typing mode so so this is a standard input mode of Japanese language you can of course type not only hiragana but also katakana and kanji now you are ready to type in japanese let's try uh, you know, type to a japanese called hajime master you know? we, are, we all understand what is hajime master so let's start typing that so activate word file if you're having some issues or you cannot see some junk characters you can see then you can follow this uh, this is a uh, option one optional right so if you are having some issue in um, uh, typing uh, you can cannot see hiragana uh, some box type uh, uh, characters are coming then in that case you have to follow this step so two font faces are there four fonts are provided as a standard fonts of windows gothic is a sans serif font like arial in english font i um, mean co is a serif font like uh, times new roman so p in ms p minko and ms p gothic proportional font here uh, we'll take ms minko like you can uh, follow the step what uh, <coughs> if we are there in the showing in the presentation so if you have installed in Microsoft Office 2007 or later, the font names are in Japanese. Or if you set Japanese at language for non-unicode programs of reason, from the control panel, the font names are also in Japanese. So you don't need to worry. Everything is taken care if you have uh, installed uh, MS Office uh, 2007 version. So type Hajimaste. You can say H, you can uh, write you know, H A, then J I M E M A S H I. T E right so if you type Haji Maste so you can see here no Hiragana the Haji Me Maste will appear on the screen in Hiragana at this point it is underlined you can say it is underlined here so you can convert Romaji into Kana or Kanji by space bar right it is the convert 
uh, while the word type is underlined. So MSIME on Windows 10 provides auto conversion and shows some options automatically. If the word phrase, if you want to type is in option, select it up and down key or if you can use space bar to go down. So if MSIME does not give any option automatically, please press the space. Right now, if you want to go, uh, now if you want to select that particular word, then uh, just press space bar and you can convert Romaji into Kana or Kanji manually. Hope this is uh, clear. All right. So now press enter. The underline disappears and Japanese character are typed in the document. Right now, Hajime Maste and Hajime Maste. So you will be given two options whether you know you want to type in Hiragana or you want to type in Kanji. Uh, I, but uh, no, we if you are typing in Kanji, you should be knowing uh, that's a Hajime Maste Kanji, right? So Haji may have got uh, two three Kanjis in fact. Right? So you should be not typing a different Kanji for same uh, Hiragana. Already we provided here in this video some lessons to you know, practice typing Japanese in this section. Please try it here onwards. All right, so now how to finish uh, Japanese mode or remove MSIME. Now we will be talking about that. So click J icon, that's a Japanese icon on the language bar. Select English, the language bar will be on English mode. If you will not use Japanese typing for a while or in such cases, you can remove or hide the language bar. All right. So click English or J icon on the language bar. Click language preferences. Yeah. Language preferences. You can see I have highlighted over there and then select Japanese and then click remove. Right. So, okay. You have to remove from here. So, MSIME is still on your system. Right. You can set it again from the setting at a language at any time. Let's hope this is clear. All right. Now we come to Windows 8. Please. Uh, now we are going to follow the same step, more or less same step, like you know, we are what we have to do. In Windows 8, like you now uh, open the control panel from the uh, desktop of settings and then open um, uh, add a language in clock language and region. And there's your option, right? So that's step two and then step three is uh, click add a language. And then fourth is, fourth step is select language. You select Japanese over there and then fifth is confirm the language bar. The language bar will appear on the taskbar at the right lower side of the display. At this point, it is in English mode now. So sixth step is uh, click English, select Japanese Microsoft IME. Seventh step is Japanese typing mode A, and then you have to click A. The mode A will be A, this mode. A, this mode is for typing Kana or Kanji. Now you can type in Japanese with non-Japanese keyboard, such as English keyboard, or go to the next step. How to start typing in Japanese. So you can see here Windows 8, how to start typing Japanese mode, more or less. Now we have learned, please follow the same step what we had done for Windows 10. So click English on the language bar, select Japanese Microsoft IME, language mode English will be on Japanese mode A. Click A, the mode will be on Japanese mode A. This is Hiragana input mode by using Romaji typing method. So this is standard input mode for Japanese language. You can of course type not only Hiragana but also Katakana and Kanji. So you can switch like you now the way we learned in uh, Windows 8, 10. So we can also switch uh, between English mode and Japanese mode by shortcut Alt and Shift. Activate WordPad, same thing what we learned in Windows, 4, Windows 10. If you have any issues, you can always take help of this. And then uh, again, uh, how to type in Japanese is here. We have already discussed this, so, but again, we, we want to see. You can always uh, go through this video, uh, Windows 8. If you want to remove, like you know how to finish or remove, then the same, this process you have to follow. All right, so, yep. All right, so now I have to change, click on the change language preferences and then remove. All right, so Windows 7 and then, yeah, more or less same, uh, step we have to follow about what we did for Windows 8 and then this is the second and third and fourth step all right this is fifth sixth and seventh step click add of the general tab and then select Japanese Japan then confirm the Microsoft IME click OK confirm the language bar and to start typing Japanese language please refer to this video previous slides Windows 8 how to start typing in Japanese mode all right, so this is Windows Vista. Please follow this. Open control panel and start menu. Then open clock, language, and region. Same. This is G. Open change keyboards. Then click change keyboards. Click add of the general tab. Select Japanese Japan. Confirm the Microsoft IME and confirm the language bar. It was so easy. Same thing. You, know, you can do it for Vista as well. You know, what we did for Windows 8. 
Windows XP, same ka open control panel from a start menu, open date, time, language, and business options, open add other language, click details, click add, select Japanese, MSE, MSIME is added, come from the language bar. All right, same thing now, uh, what, how to type is now we have to follow the same what we saw in Windows 8. All right, for Mac, it's very easy typing Japanese software, Kotoeri is provided by Mac operating system. All right, yeah. And this is how it looks, Kotoeri MacBook, you can see. Now system, you have to go to system preference and then in personal, international, you have to just select. All right, so this is how you have to know, select the international and then go to input uh, menu and input menu, uh, please uh, no, select the checkbox of Kotoeri, Hiragana, Katakana, full with Romaji, half with Katakana, Romaji, etc. And, and then we are done. Thank you so much. Hope uh, you enjoyed the video and uh, all of us for uh, writing mails uh, and typing in Japanese language. Hi, Arigato Gujarmasa Minasan.